Yo, what's going on guys, Remedy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive class setup for me, what I use when I'm playing competitively with the team. Um, as you can see, my first class is an AR, but I'm a sub-dominant player for our team. I have two AR classes, just in case I need to switch over to them and give more AR, AR support for the team. Uh, so the first class I have is the SC2010. I, this gun's amazing. I feel very comfortable using this gun. I have red dot and grip on it, just grip for no recoil, so it's easier to aim at longer distances. Uh, I don't have a secondary to free up a spot for perks. I have a Semtex pretty much all my classes. I really, I think I've always liked Semtexes better for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I feel comfortable using them. So then I have the stun or the concussion on pretty much all my classes, but one, and I'll tell you about it later. The perks I run is Ready Up, Agility, Dead Silence, ICU, and Focus. Uh, I run Focus pretty much because you need to have the, like, you don't want your gun to be bouncing up when you're getting shot, especially at long range with an AR. You want to be able to keep your aim as, as uh, focused as you can. So that perk's great for ARs. Uh, ICU is a great perk in general. I mean, it, it gets your health regen insanely quick. It's ridiculous, so if you haven't used that, definitely start checking it out, see if it's good for you. Dead Silence, because even in this game, you can hear people running Dead Silence, and I can only imagine how much they could hear me if I didn't run Dead Silence. So in all game modes, I run Dead Silence. Uh, agility, because I like moving around the map as fast as I can. Uh, and Ready Up, because I don't want to be caught off guard sprinting. I mean, you still get caught off guard. But there's more of a chance that you might get a kill because your weapon will be ready faster. Then for my specialist bonus, run Resilience and Reflex. Um, I don't know why I have Reflex on, that's probably some flaw. But I probably don't really get that many kills for Reflex anyways. But after that, I get Sleight of Hand, ext uh, Extreme Conditioning or Marathon, whatever that perk is. Uh, takedown. I don't know what that one is. It's the reason you have content specialist instead of three, because now I have my specialist bonus at eight kills, and if I added one more, I'd have to get it at eleven kills. So instead of going to eleven kills and getting one extra per and getting all my perks, I'll go to eight kills and get all my perks. So it's e it's better because even in competitive, there's a lot of banned perks. So it's easier just to use that. So the next class is the MTAR. It has the grip and um, red dot sight on it too. I just the I feel very comfortable using a red dot sight on it. I've tried iron sights and it's all right, but I feel like I'm more dominant with the red dot sight, so I use that uh, for my lethal of semtex again. The concussion, my perks are agility, marathon, dead silence, res resilience, and ICU. So resilience for a sub because I'm going to be jumping off stuff, you know, trying to get to positions as fast as I can. Agility Marathon, just to move around the map as quickly as possible. Dead Silence, obviously, I already told you. So that's... And then my Splashes bonus, I have Quick Draw and Sleight of Hand. Then I have, um... The other... The other perk that makes you aim down sights faster. Take Down, Attack Resist, and... The Lethal Resist perk. So... This... This subclass is pretty much the one I use almost all the time to try and support the team and get objectives when I'm playing more of an OBJ role, I'll use this class. Um, my next class is the same thing as the MTAR, same exact setup, except my perks are different. I have Marathon, Dead Silence, Incog, and Blast Shield. Um, I have Incog because this is my smoke class, I run a smoke on this so that we can smoke B or something and they can't see me through the smoke so I can try and cap it or we can try and cap it as fast as possible. Um, Blast shield so that if they d can't see me through the smoke, they can throw a nade and I'll survive it. And then dead silence and marathon, still the same things, move around the map as fast and quietly as possible. The specials I have is agility and ready up with the quick draw, resilience, ICU, and tack resist perks for specialist bonus. And again, running the only two perks so that you can get the perk bonus at uh, 8 kills. So next has Remington. If the SC2010 is not working out for me, or I just want a gun that's a little bit more powerful, I will use the Remington. Same thing as Red Dot and Foregrip, the Semtex and the Concussions on. 
So ready up agility, dead silence, ICU, and focus. The same exact thing as my other AR class. And then this one, I don't really have setup for specialists because I usually don't use it. But I have resilience and blast shield in case I use it. So those are really the only perks I really want after I start getting the kills. So, yep. And then my other class is the vector. Just in case the MTAR is not working out, I'll use my vector. I have a red dot and muzzle break on it. No foregrip on this class. I don't feel it necessary for the vector. Semtex still, concussion, uh, agility, marathon, dead silence, resilience, and focus. Uh, almost the same thing, just don't have um, ICU on. And the reason I have focus on the vector is because it shoots kind of slow, so you might actually get into a lot more gunfights instead of killing people as fast as possible. So you want to be able to keep your aim while you're getting shot at from the, from the enemy with a vector. Uh, specialist bonus, I run quick draw and sleight of hand. And after that, I have ready up, uh, on the go, uh, takedown, foc uh, not focus, I don't know what that's called, perk's called, and ICU. So, again, two things to get it at eight kills, or nine kills on this one. Uh, and I really, I don't really plan to get specialist bonus, because I don't play for kills as much, I just play to get a win. So, that's why I usually I don't have too much specialist bonus on all the thing, all the things because I don't plan on getting it every game. And my final class is the Vepper with a, a foregrip and muzzle break because I I can use the iron sights in this thing. It's so easy to aim with iron sights on a Vepper. I have a lethal as a Semtex and tactical concussion. My perks are agility, marathon, quick draw, and dead silence. Pretty much the same thing as well, except for I'm missing ICU, but pretty much the same thing as. Uh, other perks or other SMGs I have uh, and the reason that I'd run quick draw and marathon stuff on this class is because I rush a lot more with this class mostly in s and I try to rush the opponent pretty much right off the start and try and get into their uh, side of the map as fast as possible and get a flank on them and my specialist bonus is the ICU and sleight of hand with a uh, ready up uh, on the go scavenger focus and blast shield so I don't plan on getting specialist again with this thing especially because I mostly use it in search and destroy when my other SMGs aren't doing well but I definitely prefer this gun over the vector uh, it's an amazing gun it's got a huge clip and it kills really fast so you could probably kill the whole entire team in search without ever reloading so so yep yeah, that was my class setups guys uh, I'm gonna say, show you one more thing I don't use this yet, but I plan on doing it. For right now, these are my um, classes for pretty much any game mode. But you can go to select the squad member, and you have six people you can create classes for, and they're all they all do their own thing. You can create classes for all these people, and make it your search and destroy class, your dom class, blitz classes, you know, anything. And you have six, so there's only three game modes, so. You can make a ton of classes. Right now I just use one because that's the only one I really need to use. So yeah. So guys, that's my competitive class setup. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Give this give this video a rate, comment, subscribe. I love all my supporters. I've seen some pretty good growth recently in my um, YouTube channel. So love you all and I'll see you next video.